on a night where UNC just won the NCAA National Championship and the Red Sox win their first game of the season. The real action was here at InSports for the Legacy League's first round of playoff action. We got underway here. This is the Monday night, like I said, first round playoff post-game show presented by East Coast Garage Door. I'm your host, Tyler Feldman. I'm here with Ben and Matt and Ryan. Congrats for UNC and Ellis. Thank you. Uh, four games of the, of the eight for the first round. A um, couple upsets. Well, actually, one big upset. One big upset. A couple of unsurprising games. One game where we had seven players on the court. A little bit of interesting storylines tonight, to say the least. Let's knock out the ugly first. Let's go serial killers, light it up. Yeah. Where Let It Up struggled along with three players. You know, final score of 135 to 87. It was yeah, not they put, pretty. Uh, yeah, they put up 87. So, put it briefly, it wasn't really much of a game. Like we said, yeah. Light It Up came here with three players. But, you know, not much you can really do in a full court game yeah. for, for two halves when, you know, you got three players. So, we could talk all you want about how the serial killers played well, but... Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't really take a lot to play well against right. three players. You know, Ty Coward had a triple double. I think Nick had a triple double as well. A lot of guys in double figures, but that's not really the story of the game. The story of the game is serial killers got lucky, got a got a real <laughs> easy, real easy first round win. We'll see if they get tested in the next round. You know? Yeah, I mean, it's you know, obviously, it's already the sixteen and the one matchup. You're already at facing an uphill battle, and then when most of your team decides to not show up for a playoff game that doesn't bode well. Doesn't um, hats off to Chris, Devin, and Jake of Light It Up for showing up and trying Absolutely. their best. You know, 87 points isn't a joke. I mean, for three guys. you can imagine that there wasn't a not ton a lot of, defense, of defensive but, pressure yeah. being played by serial killers, but still, to their credit, they came, they showed up, and they tried. So, we got to take our hats off to them. Um, moving right along, we knock out the one seed. Let's hop over to our two seed, No Limit White Magic. A little bit of an upset alert in the first half, you know, and then, of course, it went, it took its course in the second half. Um, yeah, final score, 91-50 for No Limit. Uh, down one, I believe, at the half. Um, down three. Down three, down three. three at the half. And then just absolutely opened the floodgates yeah. in the second half. I mean, in the first half, all it came out to was No Limit wasn't hitting their shots. Uh, you know, White Magic was hitting their shots. And in the second half, it just it just flipped over, like you said. Howie Miller started hitting everything from three, and it was a snowball effect. It just led to them getting the lead coming up in the game. Steve Busek had, I believe, 15 points in the first half, and the team only scored about nine in the third quarter total. So, you know, No Limit came back and also stepped up their defensive presence, made sure that they weren't going to let Steve Busek beat, beat them from deep. I mean, we've seen this type of a performance from No Limit before, you know, where it's they... A classic play down to your competition. They, right. And then when it really mattered, they knew that this was a game that they weren't going to lose. No. It was just a matter of time until they pulled away. I don't think any surprises there. We were expecting nope. that, the two and the one seats to advance without too much, uh, you know, resistance. Sure. Um, moving right along, another game that went chalk, but a little bit closer. A sports league team that's been surging, playing well, came up just short against the Monstars. It was 54-49. to 49. Close game, gritty game, low scoring game. Uh, what do we think? Well, uh, Sportsbook was without Scott Benzing, but they had their man Tyrell Holmes. He did everything for the team like he's done in the past. Uh, it was him against Reggie Stewart the whole game, back and forth. Uh, yeah, the Montserrat's were up 11 at the half, and then uh, they allowed Sportsbook to come back late in the fourth, but um, they just pulled out, hit some clutch shots. Um, everything came down to hitting the free throws for the Monstars. Reggie Stewart hit all his free throws at the end, so it was a great win uh, against a pretty good sports league team. Yeah, like you touched upon with all the free throws, there was, I think, four or five players, all with five fouls. Two players fouled out for the Monsters. It was just, the fourth quarter just dragged on, and it came down to who was going to hit their free throws late, and Reggie Stewart hit some free throws. Mike Cody had a, had a very good game in his return after missing two straight games, and they just they just came away late with the win. Uh, what can I say? They were clutch at the line. Yeah. The normally very talkative Ryan Spitz just finally getting on the action. I'm a little speechless from your big win, I assume. You yeah, understand. I mean, I didn't watch the first two games we were talking about, but yeah, uh, that's, that's all I got for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, the one upset of the evening. You know, this was one that we probably, you know, we talked about when we said that this was a potential okay. matchup where we sort of could have saw this one coming. Firm rookies, 48-45, the rookies come out with the upset. Firm, it's we talked about this in on around the arc. Well, you guys talked about this on around the arc. The you firm's biggest enemy is usually themselves, yep. and you saw it again today. The bickering back and forth on the bench, you know, 
people arguing for the ball. It just it looks like a team that isn't cohesive as a unit. It's a bunch of guys going out there trying to get their own, not really committed to the team mi uh, mission. You know? Yeah, no, like you just said, they, they were fighting the entire game. And it showed on the scoreboard. It showed in the turnovers department. They only scored 45 points against a team that was missing Jalen Smalls, one of their better players, and only had one true inside presence. You think a tall, athletic team like the Firm would take advantage and maybe run up, run up the score, or maybe make it a more like fast-paced game? They just didn't. They, they couldn't hit any outside shots at all. Everything came from in the paint. In the end, it just wasn't enough. Eric Singleton had a monster performance for the rookies and hit late free throws and sealed it up. It was the firm beat themselves more so than the rookies beat the firm. Right, and unfortunately, we've had to say that a number of times for that team. It's unfortunate. They're a very talented team. A lot of really good One players there. One of the more there. talented teams yeah, in the absolutely. league, but definitely the most dysfunctional team. Right, and it doesn't really matter how much talent you have if you can't really play as a unit, exactly. which we've seen tonight and time again. Um, that's pretty much the slate for tonight. Of course, tomorrow night we have four more games, the back half of the first round. We have the Temptations, the four seed against 13, Stranger Danger. I'm feeling confident, I'm a little nervous, but uh, hoping that Steve can uh, shut down Carmine and then after that it's kind of a crapshoot. We'll see how it goes. Say your prayers before you go to bed. I, hey, look, I have, to, I have to plug my own team here. You know, I can't just say we're going to lose, you know. I understand no one's picking us to win. Well, but the fact that you just said that shows us Hey, great. stranger things have happened, pun intended, you know. We'll see how it goes. I know. Roll your eyes all you want, Ryan. You're a national championship. So could I. Uh, the seven ten matchup run TMC and Goon Squad. I know we're all pulling for the upset because Joey's happiness is our sadness. <laughs> all four of us picked it, so I guess we really want it. So, I mean, this is, Goon, as far as ten seeds go, Goon Squad is a pretty tough matchup. Um, run TMC was in a position to take away the five seeds, dropped their last two games, sort of limped into the playoffs. Now they have to tough, take a tough pull. They get Brandon Massaro, Matt Marconi, and Goon Squad. I know Joey's shaking his head behind the camera. He's, he's dying back there, but we can't wait. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I know he plays after I do tomorrow, so I'll be front and center ready to watch. Um, last two games of the night, we have the three versus the 14. You have Redemption Avengers. I think we're all going Redemption there. Um, Avengers going to have to shoot lights out. They're going up against MVP Jalen Graham. It's going to be a tough matchup. And then, of course, you rounded out with the 8-9. They played last week. Lob, Renegades. Of course, we saw Lob came out. They're up. They're the 8 seed. Renegades the 9. Are we expecting a different outcome for round 2? I think Lob 203 is going to ride this wave into the playoffs yeah. and get this first round win. Yeah, they've been playing very, very good basketball. Um, any surprise upset picks that we want to throw out there for tomorrow? I picked this rookies game. I don't know if anyone else. Yeah, did. I picked the rookies game too. But I had my two upsets were today. One came true. The other one didn't. I had sports. Over. What about tomorrow? Do we think all chalk? Or I went chalk. Chalk. Yep. No one's picking Stranger Danger. No. no. Not a single person. No, no Stranger team. Danger. No run TMC from anyone in this. Uh, <laughs> Just because we're on video run, doesn't run mean TMC we're going to Picking yeah. Goon Squad's the oh, upset. Okay. Yeah, I, I that forgot upset. that that was an upset because it shouldn't be. I agree. It shouldn't be. Joey should never be a favorite. With the numbers it is, but like they're just as good as right. TMC. So. Right. Like we said, they're a very strong 10 seed. Um, of course, as always, we will be back. Our games are at 9.15 and 10.15 tomorrow night. Around the Arc, as always, 8 p.m. We will see you back here tomorrow for the second half of our first round. Take it easy.